Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Paul, Inventor 3. Uh, we still haven't changed our power at all. Uh, I've been experimenting now a lot with where to extract the energy, how to extract the energy. Um, a lot of different things. I could charge up capacitors really fast. I've got a lot of capacitors in here now. Well, like just like seven or something. So I know this stuff is really getting hard to believe. And it's really freaking me out too. <laughs> this is everything my whole life, I don't know, it's boiling up to this point, man. Anyhow. Oh, wait. Let's go back up here to these really bright ones. One thousand, and I just had to add that little guy there. One thousand and one LEDs. Before I start bringing this to another level, I just had to. Uh, I had to say I could do it. And like I said in the last video, I could keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. So, let me talk for just a minute here. Um, let me get my notes real quick. I'll try to make this quick. Uh, yeah, I know this is uh, getting hard to believe, and I expect that. Uh, I'm going to have to try to validate this soon. Uh, it's the next stage. Try to have somebody replicate it. It's not easy. <laughs> I, I've, I've got one side in resonance, another side in resonance, and then you got to try to get these two in resonance with each other. And yeah, it's not easy. It's a beautiful symphony of resonance. Anyhow, yeah, I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to think of how to simplify it. You know, just to show that you know I'm not faking. That's it. Um. Not that I'm going to expect somebody else to put together a thousand LEDs. Oh, excuse me. So, um, uh, you know, I'm always, I'm hiding something. And I've told you all the, you know, in other episodes, yeah, I'm hiding something. Okay, but it, it's, it's quite simple. And that's what keeps my system proprietary. You know, I anyhow, uh, I got a video out there that says, you know, why I don't, why I keep secret <laughs> for now. <laughs> uh, lamps, these LED lamps, oh my God. This is like a LED lamp here. It has got like three LEDs in it. Most of them got like three to six. So I've tried many different types of lamps, not just these shapes and types, but other types Uh, you know, there's uh, one of the problems is 
they all have their own little teeny tiny miniature circuits built into them and to my system those components are hindering and unnecessary you know it's just things should have been built differently um, <laughs> they gotta charge you for that current uh, so in northern I've said this before too and I'm gonna make it quick but uh, if, if you want to start plugging other appliances and stuff this is gonna be a big jump I would have to you know uh, transform everything down uh, well it wouldn't be too bad I don't think transform the frequency down transform the voltage down to 120 60 Hertz then you could plug things into it but it gets tricky um, it's not like I'm gonna you know yeah here's a finished product this black box with a thousand LEDs inside and then you could plug something into it so I got to figure out how to get the energy out of this and what how uh, anyhow I'm gonna probably uh, start boosting uh, the voltage. That's what I'm thinking next. Um, you know, the other thing with LEDs, though, you got to think the whole world is changing to LEDs. You know, even if I don't uh, uh, plug a fan or refrigerator into it, uh, this is uh, unexplainably efficient uh, let's see I'm almost get done guys <laughs> don't, don't, don't cut me off yet uh, yeah boosting the voltage uh, it's not easy though I, I gotta think maybe I could do that before the receiver maybe after or before the transmitter after the receiver I'm thinking different places, but the thing is, my system is single wire, too, just like Tessa would have loved it to be. Single wire. <clears throat> so I need to boost that voltage with only one input, one output, not hinder the system with all these unnecessary components, and at the same time not lose the pulse DC and the frequency. So I got to think about that. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm, I got a couple ideas. I'm going to try, see what happens with that. But anyhow, guys, that's it. <laughs> I won't drag this out forever. I could talk about this all day. So, yeah, it's pretty cool how you could just barely touch an Aframenco plug and John Hutchison always told me about the point contact and how important that is and it's always stuck in my mind diodes and I can make a connection so close if you touch too much all these LEDs will go dim but if you get it just right they'll go extra bright let's see if I could actually do this right now hold on hold on I'm gonna try to oh 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 wait 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 I've already had it come on come on it's tricky Believe me, I've had it, guys. Uh, you gotta sit there for a while, play with it. If you get that just right, you could get that super bright and still have everything running. But anyhow, thanks, John. Thanks, everybody. Uh, it only gets better and better. See you soon. <laughs> I was thinking about bringing them all the way out into my backyard. I can. <laughs> but what's a sense? How much farther can I keep going? We need to get some proof or something here. I know you guys, no matter how many videos I make, you could always say I'm faking it. <laughs> I know that, man. I know how that goes.
I like how I unplug everything. And the ones on the capacitors just keep going, going for quite a while. Alright guys, see you at the next video.